Las Cinco Muertes, the five deaths. We've got Muerta, Isla Matanceros. We progress on to Isla uh, Tucano. Isla Peña and Isla Sauna. One of the things that was important to us was to make sure that um, we were authentic to the films. You're going to be uh, approaching these islands and these, these, the beautiful, iconic shot that you'll recognise from the films as the helicopter comes into this tropical paradise where the, where the whole game takes place. They're all amazing, they're all iconic um, and they're so beautiful and it's just great to be on these islands that you've seen in films and now get to see them in such detail and depth in the game. Your missions are going to be given to you from these three different divisions, which each have a different character assigned to them. Uh, the entertainment division is probably the, the most familiar to Jurassic Park and Jurassic World fans. You're using the dinosaurs as attractions, uh, so the tourists come in, they marvel at the dinosaurs and, you know, spend their dollars and that's how you're, um, you're making money. We'll be having things like um, arcades and restaurants and clothing shops and all those, all those touristy things to go on top. So you, it, this is a business at the end of the day and you want to try and pull in as many people as possible. In the science division you're asked to pursue this authentic dinosaur genome and perform these expeditions and dig sites and extract genomes from fossils to find out more information about these dinosaurs. But you also need to care about a number of other things with the science division. The dinosaurs can get diseases, they can get sick, they can die. So what you need to do is research cures for the right diseases and in order to do that, you're going to need money. So you need to make sure that the income that your parks are generating and the expenditure you're spending on pursuing this scientific aspect uh, is kept in balance. Security is probably my favourite out of the three. It's the one where the, the player's going to get the opportunity to try and breed the most dangerous dinosaurs they can. And then security's job is to try and control that. So if they escape, you've got all these tools at your disposal to try and uh, put an end to all the calamity and, and rein it back in. But ultimately, this is all about player choice. It's all about being offered these different styles of gameplay. And it's up to you whether you want to get hands on and involved and get up there in the helicopter or whether you'd rather manage all of it from above. Um, it really just depends on your style of gameplay and how you want to play the game. Frontier have taken their years of experience in management games and animal games and brought them together uh, to make Jurassic World Evolution. And on top of that, sort of put together a story that helps build upon uh, the story of the franchise so far. In the game, there are iconic characters from the Jurassic franchise, both old and new. Um, one of them that we're really excited about is Dr. Ian Malcolm, who's in the game, uh, played by Jeff Goldblum. And he's gonna be your voice of conscience, he's your voice of reason, and he's gonna be with you throughout the whole game to uh, add a little flavor, and sarcasm to your experience. It was a dream working with Jeff. Um, he's one of my idols since sort of his early film career. Uh, and he's such a unassuming man when you meet him. And when we first heard his voice in game, that just made it feel even more Jurassic for us. It's not just Ian Malcolm that we've got in the game. We've managed to get a couple of the other characters in from the films as well. We've got Henry Wu, we've got uh, Claire Deering as well, played by Bryce Dallas Howard and B.D. Wong. Um, and also there's going to be a cast of new characters that we've, we've brought along for our own narrative for this game as well. So hopefully you'll enjoy those too. It's been really great working with Universal because they bring a lot of um, expertise and knowledge from the films and we've been partnering that with our knowledge of video games to really make something as authentic and realistic as possible. The wonderful thing about this game is that it gives you an, a, an opportunity to really visualise what these 100 million year old creatures would be like in real life and, and I think that's what I love about the dinosaurs in this game is that it really brings your imagination to life.